Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Thursday, October 20th, 2016. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, Thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're at it, give God praise today because He is worthy of all of our praise. He is worthy of all of our thanksgiving. He is worthy of all of our worship. Our scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 5, and it's verses 5 through 9. Scripture says, And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. And when Jesus saw him lie, and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said to him, Wilt thou be made whole? The impotent man answered answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. Jesus saith unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole. And took up his bed and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. Friends, we looked at these verses yesterday. But there's another thing that I discovered in these verses as I was studying again. um, Was that persistence is a key to getting the healing that you need. Or getting the even getting the answer to prayer that you need. This man was impotent for 30 years. This man was, was handicapped for 38 years. And for 38 years, he sat there at the pool of Bethesda, the place of healing, the house of mercy. And for 38 years, when an angel came down and troubled the waters that the healing would take place in, for 38 years, he tried to get into the pool and somebody else would always beat him into the pool. 38 years. Friends, a lot of times we don't have persistence to pray for something more than a day or two. And this man laid there, and I believe he would have continued laying there until he got his healing. It reminds me of another story in Scripture, and it's in the Gospel of Matthew, in chapter number 15. It's verses 21 through 28. Listen to this story. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and cast it to the dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, and be it unto thee as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Friends, here's a mother that wanted nothing more than her daughter healed. And she came to Jesus, and this woman was a Canaanite woman. She wasn't a a Jew. She wasn't a Jewish person. She wasn't of the house of Israel. But undoubtedly she heard about the miracles of Jesus and knew that if she could just get to Jesus, that her daughter would would be healed. And she comes to Jesus, and Jesus does nothing for her because she wasn't among the people, or she wasn't part of the people Jesus was sent to minister to. But yet she kept persisting until she got what she wanted friends we need to do the same thing we need to be persistent in prayer we need to be persistent in taking our request to god until god answers our prayer no it is not answering our prayer the way we want but answering the prayer in according to his will that's a key right there we have to be persistent do you have the faith to be persistent in prayer do you have the faith to be persistent when you're seeking healing for yourself or for somebody else. Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's Word and allow God's Word to get into you. And then share that Word with someone today. Have a blessed day. 
Go deeper in your Bible study with Talking Scripture. Live, Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Thanks for listening. Check out our website, www.myscripturelinks.com.